Hello and welcome to the Valley Grounds where Kawempe Muslim Ladies Football Club are taking on UCU Lady Cardinals in a tie that must see one of them go into the quarterfinals. And Kawempe Muslim start us off. Shakira on the far side trying to run her way through but she's tripped in the process. And Mokisa Maureen, they are being called culprit. Kobo Sinje trying to improvise a ball through but uh, Agnes couldn't read that well. Now here they come. Kawempe Muslim trying to create something for themselves, but that is a great improvisation, but uh, not really coming off for Hadija Nandago. Just sending the goalkeeper in the wrong way, but uh, not getting the ball quite where it matters. And everyone reaching for their heads because they thought that that was surely a goal. Now you see you Lady Cardinals trying to ask the questions themselves. Here they come. Sharon Nandunga. Sharon! Sends the goalkeeper in the right way, but puts the ball in the back of the net. Lovely weave away by Sharon. And of course, that improvisation for a goal. Well, she read the movement of Adeke Juliet to slot home UCU's number one. But UCU Lady Cardinals find themselves leading here at the Valley Grounds. And that's why you see celebrations even on the touchline. As, of course, their technical team is enchanted by that wonderful piece of artwork. Now, again, the ball is back in play. It is Adoko Wright Sara who tries to find another second for UCU Lady Cardinals. But uh, the ball just going into the hands of Juliet Adeke. Just looking at how she was. Maybe she lacked a bit of energy, but that ball was surely headed for the back of the net. And you can see the frustrations on the touchline and a fumble in the box. But again, the ball goes into the hands of Adeke Juliet. And you see you, Lady Cardinals, making them to work. But it's a penalty there. And Nancha Shadia touches the ball in the process. But just looking at that again, as Natsazi Allen injects in a few touches to force the issue oh, that is a beautiful save by Adija Nalongo and of course Shakira the one given the reins to take the penalty but of course she puts it in the hands of the goalkeeper and Kawimpe Muslim still piling the pressure oh they get another one goal number one equalizer for Kawimpe Muslim and Alan Nasazi the new entrant pouncing on that Kawusinje crossing to bring UCU into agony as Kawempe Muslim find themselves level. Well, of course, celebrations tell the whole story. They were just sitting on the edges of their seat and, of course, uh, money flying in at this point in time. Now, here they come again. Kawempe Muslim asking all the questions in the world. This time round, Shakira, but goes to the ground and the referee has something to say. He points to the spot. And surely that has to be a yellow card to Nalongo Hadija. But just looking at that run by Shakira, trying to create space. But uh, that goal will not count by Alan Nasazi. Because the referee chose to go for the first incident. And the ball just goes into the hands of Nandago. And Nalongo Hadija making sure that uh, Nandago Hadija does not get to that ball here they come again Kawempe Muslim trying to create something for themselves Ali Nasazi dropping a shoulder and setting the ball in the back of the net Kawempe Muslim out of the pit they found themselves earlier on through the quick feet of Alan Nasazi well they surely have cut themselves out a ticket into the quarterfinal just looking at how she drops the shoulder and of course good vision and sends the ball into that net. Celebrations underway here at the Kawempe Muslim ground. Oh, that was a very big mistake for the two players from the UCU. But quick brains from Ale Nasazi, who pounces on the ball and just shoots in the back of the net. Celebrations already underway. Looking at how she's happy. And of course, the coach having his substitution paying off. But that is how Kawempe Muslim have now walked into the quarterfinals, beating UCU Lady Cardinals two goals to one.